Oso-1 was launched on March 7, 1962 at 4.04 p.m. UTC from Launch Complex 17A at Cape Canaveral. Oso stood for Orbital Solar Observatory, and it was the first solar observatory in space, gathering detailed data about the Sun from beyond Earth's atmosphere. It was launched on a Delta rocket and it had two sections. The upper section remained pointed directly at the Sun, and it carried 34 kilograms of scientific instruments as well as solar panels. The lower portion had 45 kilograms of instruments and rotated every two seconds, gathering data both on the sun and the atmosphere. Not included in the model that you will see was a wheel that kept the upper portion steady while the bottom rotated. And also different from the model that you will see, also one had three arms to provide extra stability rather than four. Oso-1 made early observations of coronal holes, gaps in the sun's corona that were thought to be bubbles rising through it. It was also able to detect how the sun's magnetic field activity affected the physical activity of the sun, which in turn affects Earth's own atmosphere. Oso-1 was placed into a 539 by 510 kilometer orbit with a 32.8 degree inclination. It had a mission life of 6 months, but took 19 years to re-enter, coming down on October 8, 1981. Its immediate successor was destroyed in an explosion prior to launch, and that explosion killed 3 people, but some parts were salvaged, and Oso-2 was launched in 1965, followed by another failure, and then 4 more successful Oso missions. With that, thank you for watching this mission profile of OSO-1.